a very good afternoon to the students of class 7 students in the last class we have begun with the chapter 15 that is time and distance we have worked out a few sums and today we are going to work out some more sums of let's work out 15 we are going to do question number 4 it is given i covered a distance of 12 km in 40 minutes in a bus find the speed of the bus in kilometers kilometer per hour so here the distance is given in kilometer but the time is given in minutes so for obtaining the speed in kilometer per hour you need to have the distance in kilometer and the time in hours so that is why what we will do in the solution part the distance covered is 12 kilometer and time is which is given in for minutes this 40 minutes i will have to convert it into hour by dividing with 60 that means 40 by 60 then if i reduce it into lowest term 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, I will get 2 by 2 by 3 hours. So, the speed of the bus equals to distance by time. This is the relation. The speed, you know, that is distance by time. So, we are writing the speed 12 kilometer, 12 divided by time. Time that is 2 by 3. So, 12 divided by 2 by 3. If I take the reciprocal, I will get 12 into 3 by 2. With 2 if you cancel you will get 2 6 are 12 then 6 into 3 that is 18 kilometer per hour. This is the speed which you are getting in kilometer per hour. So just keep in mind that whenever you are finding whenever you, you, you will be given to find the distance in kilometer per hour at that time you need to have the distance in kilometer and the time in hours and if it is not given in hours say suppose if it is given in minutes in that time you need to convert the time into hours. And if the distance is also asked in, uh, if the distance is also given in meter, in that time also you need to convert it into kilometer. And they, then after that, obtain the speed of, uh, of any given vehicle by the relation distance by time. Speed equals to distance by time. So, we are getting the speed of the bus is 18 kilometer per hour. This is the answer. Now, let us do the next sum. Question number 5, here we have the length of the train, a train of length 100 meter moving with a speed of 60 kilometer per hour passes a tree. So, how long will it take to do so? Here the distance is given and the speed is given. So, that means how long means you will have to find the time over here. You will have to calculate the time over here. See one thing children that here the train is passing a tree. So, in last class I have told you that whenever the train is passing any tree or a pole or a person then the width of such objects is considered as negligible and the total distance covered will be equal to the length of the train itself. So, here what we will do the solution, how we will do the solution to pass a tree the train has to pass its own length right this is what I have told so the speed of the train is 60 kilometer per hour that means what the train passes 60 kilometer in one hour speed of the train is 60 kilometer per hour means in one hour it is covering a distance of 60 kilometer so we are going to solve it out using the proportion method so we are going to write in mathematical language distance and time we are going to make two columns distance we are writing in meter and time in seconds distance is given 60 kilometer which i am converting into meter by multiplying with 1000 and i have got 60000 meter and time also i am converting into seconds which is given in hours by multiplying with 3600 because one hour means 3600 seconds so we are getting the time 3600 so in order to cover 60,000 meter is taking a time of 3600 seconds. So, what time will it take to cover a distance of 100 meter? That is the distance, the distance which is equal to its own length. So, here yesterday only we have studied that the time and distance are in direct proportion when the speed is constant. So, we are going to use the proportion method for solving the sum. See, as they are in direct proportion, so you will write first quantity by first one by second one that is proportional to this arrow downwards 
means 60,000 by 100 equals to 3600 by the unknown quantity. So, if I write this in this way that 60,000 by 100 that is equals to 3600 by suppose x the unknown quantity. Here if we cross multiply then we will see that we will obtain the value of x as x equals to 3600 into 100 by 60,000 by 60,000. So, in this way the calculation has been done to obtain the time required which is uh, coming up to 6 seconds after calculation. So, the answer is the train will take 6 seconds to pass the tree. So, here the width of the tree is not added to it because the tree or pole whenever the train passes the tree or any pole or any person at that time the distance covered will be equal to its own length ok. Now next sum moving with a uniform speed a taxi takes 6 hours 12 minutes to cover a distance of 217 kilometer. Calculate how much time would it take to cover a distance of 273 kilometer and it is also asked to mention the relation that is used to calculate. So, here at first the time is given which is 6 hours 12 minutes. Now, this hour part I am multiplying with 60 and after that adding 12 with it and we are getting the time into minutes converting hours and minutes into minutes and after that we are getting 372 minutes. So, 6 hours 12 minutes is equals to 372 minutes. So, in mathematical language we have distance time we will make two columns like this. And we will find that it is taking 207, it is covering a distance of 217 kilometers in 372 minutes. So, what time will it take to cover a distance of 273 kilometers according to the problem? So, first write the relation that distance and time are in direct proportion, ok. Distance and time are in direct proportion whenever the speed is constant. So, whenever any two quantities are in direct proportion, we are going to write both downwards that 217 is to 273 that is proportionate to 372 is to dash that is the unknown quantity. So, if we cross multiply, we will find that we are getting the time as 468 minutes. Suppose 217 is 2 means we can convert it into by. 273 that is equals to 372 by suppose x we are taking the value of the unknown quantity. So, if we cross multiply then we will find that the value of x can be obtained by multiplying these two if we cross multiply 273 into 372 divided by 217 then after that cancellations has been done. And we have got the required time as 468 minutes. So, now if I convert 468 minutes into hours and minutes, what will I do? I will have to divide by 60. So, division has been done in the rough. This 460 over here, it has been. The division has been done and after that we are getting 7 hours. 48 minutes. This 468, if I divide with 60, you will get what? If I multiply with 7, you know that 7 6 is 42, so 420 you will get, and after that, this 8 will be this 48 will be the remainder. So you are getting 7 hours 48 minutes. 7 hours 48 minutes. So the answer is it is going to take 7 hours. 48 minutes to cover the distance ok. If you uh, it is given the time whenever it is in minutes if we need to convert it into hours and minutes we are going to directly divide with 60 and the quotient whatever will be the quotient that will be the hours part and whatever will be the remainder that is the minutes part ok.